Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf, the party of former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is currently unjustly incarcerated, kicked off its movement for the protection of the constitution in the southwest of the country. Along with six other political parties, the PTI held a large gathering in Pishin, Balochistan, where various members of the parties condemned the collapse of democracy and rule of law in the country while calling for Imran Khan's release. PTI Secretary General Umar Ayub Khan said the aim of the movement is to protect the constitution and restore the rule of law in the country. The unique opposition alliance consists of religious, secular, and nationalist parties. Mahmoud Khan Achakzai, the nominated president of the alliance and a seasoned parliamentarian, said, Who knows after how many years such an alliance has been formed whose basis is not to remove a government or bring someone to power but whose sole purpose is for constitutional supremacy in Pakistan. The illegally incarcerated former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Imran Khan, will have important hearing this week in the Pakistani courts, which can pave the way for his release. On Monday, a local Islamabad court will continue hearing Mr. Khan's appeal in the bizarre illegal marriage case, which Pakistan's deep state orchestrated against Mr. Imran Khan before the elections. Additionally, Mr. Khan's appeal against his conviction in the Cypher case will take place inside the Islamabad High Court on Tuesday, where the controversial Chief Justice Amir Farooq will preside over the case. On Wednesday, Mr. Khan's bail hearing will take place in the Al Qadr University Trust case. Imran Khan, the leader of Pakistan's largest democratic party, has been unjustly incarcerated in solitary confinement now for 253 days. In yet another security and intelligence failure, at least nine people were gunned down in a targeted attack in the sensitive Balochistan province. According to the Deputy Commissioner of Nushki, where the killings took place, quote, 10 to 12 gunmen blockaded the Kuwait Taftan Highway near Nushki and abducted nine passengers from a bus, unquote, eventually killing and dumping their bodies. The Balochistan province is under the de facto control of Pakistan's military and its paramilitary forces. A wave of terrorism has gripped the province and the country as the intelligence agencies continue to be bogged down by its involvement in politics, engineering the political landscape against Imran Khan's PTI. The Balochistan Liberation Army, a designated terrorist organization, claimed responsibility for the attack. The entire world was gripped by the Iranian retaliation against Israel as focus shifted from Israel's genocide of the Palestinians in Gaza. Iran said it launched hundreds of drones and missiles against Israel on Saturday. Iran launched the retaliation in response to the assassination of Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Zahedi, a senior commander in Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, along with six other people by an Israeli missile attack at the Iranian consulate in Damascus two weeks ago. The Israeli military said on Sunday the Iranian attack consisted of more than 300, quote, killer drones, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles, unquote, but that 99% were intercepted with help from forces from France, the United Kingdom, and the United States. So far, Israel has killed over 33,000 Palestinians in Gaza since October 7th.